Do you want to make your Chinese excavator easier to use? Add some hydraulic quick disconnects to it. So I bought this style off Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below. I forgot exactly which style it is now. There's the cheapest one. You have a few options. So this has that style. And I got some of this fiber tight sealed threads. It comes in a box of uh, two sets. So you're gonna need two sets just for the hydraulic thumb. So you're gonna need a set just to do the machine side, a male and a female, and a set to do each attachment, male and a female. So the hydraulic thumb, you're gonna do two sets. If you have any more attachments, you're gonna need to order more, more sets, okay? So you buy the quick disconnect fitting, and then you also have to buy adapters to get from this uh, DIN fitting to pipe thread for this adapter. And I have these right here. I bought mine at uh, dis discounthydraulichose.com. Here is the part number. And you'll need two of these per set of quick connect fittings. So female, male, you're gonna need two of these, one for each one of those, okay? This goes from your den fittings, sorry. This goes from your den fitting to the pipe thread on these quick disconnects. All right, so I've got a couple put together already. One there, one there, one there, and one there. I'm gonna go ahead and put these on the machine and we'll test them out, see how they work. To start with, I'm gonna take this female loose from this union, this female loose from that union, and then I'll put the male on this side because this is going to actuate the cylinder outward. So I'm gonna call this side the male and then I do the, so this will be a female here. And then on the other side, I'll do the male on this hose over here and the female back on the machine. Here we go. As you can see, I got the male installed on this side. This is the side that goes out to feed the cylinder to close the thumb. Now I'm gonna go ahead and install the female on this side. Now these are just, these den fittings, they're just O-ring seal. So don't go crazy cranking on them and it shouldn't take much force to get it loose. Here's a good look at that den fitting, that O-ring seal in there. All right, that's one set put together. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put the other side on and then we'll start the machine up, bleed all the air out of it and test it. All right, I got this side done. I put the male on the cylinder side and the female on the machine side on this one. Exact opposite what I did on the other side. So you can't ever mix them up. Now that they're both connected, I'm gonna fire it up and bleed all the air out. Once you're done, check for leaks. I think we're good. Thanks for watching.